So what are the important topics for uh, ISC 12th Biology for a board examination? Okay, in biology first and foremost I would like to discuss about the format of our syllabus or our examination of theory. Right, uh, basically theory exam consists of 70 marks paper. It is divided into two parts, part A, part 1 and part 2. Your part 1 consists of 20 questions of 20 marks. That means each question is of 1 mark, right? And part 2 is of 50 marks. So over here let us briefly discuss about what all is there in part 1. In part 1 you will have 20 questions each of 1 mark and over here the whole of syllabus is being covered and these questions can be in the form of MCQs, these questions can be there in the form of very short answer type questions, they could be abbreviations which you are uh, you have to expand, it could be name of some scientists related to some events, right? You could be given some uh, terminologies to maybe asked over there so that is all that will be asked over there in your part 1 and it is basically consisting of 4 or 5 major questions each having 4 or 5 sub parts right so if there are let us say 5 questions each question will have 4 sub parts fine and since it is having 4 sub parts each sub part will have 1 mark so overall it is of 20 marks so that is it for part 1 we will discuss about part 2 also and let us see how we will answer that so your part 2 of question paper consists of 3 sections, section A, section B and section C. Section A is of 10 marks, section B is of 20 marks, section C again is of 20 marks. Now in your section A, it is basically covering only one topic that is origin and evolution of life. In this origin and evolution of life, the main emphasis will be on operin and Hallein theory, then Urey and Miller experiment. Then Neo Darwinism, Darwinism, Lamarckism, homology, analogy. So basically, correlation of different organisms, evolutionary. Fine. Embryological evidence for that, paleontical evidence for that. So that is all that will be covered over there. Then in your section B, we have covering basically about uh, plants and animals. So in plants, we have to cover all about tissues. The meristematic, the permanent tissues, you have to be very thorough with your. Uh, diagrams of the vascular bundles in case of monocot stem, dicot stem, monocot root, dicot root, monocot leaf and dicot leaf. Fine. Then you have to also deal with transportation of water and absorption of water in case of plants. Be very clear about your osmosis, diffusion, what is root pressure, turgor pressure, role of transpiration, exosmosis, endosmosis. So these are some of the things that you have to be very clear and precise about. Photosynthesis is also a major part over there. In photosynthesis, you will have to cover up C3 cycle, C4 cycle, fine, and also photophosphorylation complete. Pho and then we will have photorespiration over there. You will have Krenz uh, anatomy, Black Blackman's law, and factors affecting photosynthesis that will be there. Then reproduction and angiosperms. Over here, we will be also talking about parthenocarpy. Very slightly, these terms are to be remembered over there. So, Apiomixes, parthenocarpy, right? So these are some of the terms over there. Then differentiation and organ formation in case of monocot and dicot plants. We'll have to discuss over here about seed formation and fruit formation also. Fine. In case of animals, we are going to deal only with human reproduction. So you have to be very thorough with the diagrams. You have to be very thorough with uh, gametogenesis, the artificial reproductive technologies that are there. So you have to be very thorough with them. Now coming to section C. Section C is again of 20 marks and it covers topics like genetics. In genetics you have to be com uh, completely thorough with your Mendelian genetics. You have to be thorough with your <coughs> Griffiths experiments, Herschel chain experiment that is also there. Fine, sex determination is there. Then you have got transcription, translation and DNA fingerprinting. Human genome project is very important over there. So then recombinant DNA technology, its application in case of agriculture, industry and human health. BT cotton or BT brinjal, BT crops are very important over there. Then in application, you all also talk about crop improvement. In crop improvement, we are going to talk about our biopesticides, biofortification, biodiversity, red data book, endangered species, the various terms associated with it, human diseases, especially human immune system. That means non-specific as well as a specific. Overall, in full detail, you will have to learn that. And the various diseases like AIDS and skids. So that are very important. In human diseases, all the diseases caused by 
protozoans, bacteria, viruses, helminths, right? Then cancer is a very important topic over there. Then we are going to talk about human population, population growth parameters, population curves, then uh, birth rate, death rate, sex ratio, these are the important terms over there. In your animal husbandry, we are going to talk about dairy farm management, poultry management, pesticulture is there and apiculture is also an important topic. So that is a vast labor that you will have to cover up. I wish all of you will do it fine, all the best.